asked and answered. We we'll have an observation to do as regard the general so, behavior of the audience. Yes, I, I think that we made that quite clear in the guidelines that we don't have time for observations, and I'm sure it's an interesting one. But Sheikh Tidad has rented the hall and has given his lecture, and now is a question period. So if we could have, if you have a question related to the topic, please ask it. If not, you'll have to keep your observation for another time. Uh, okay, uh, it's just an observation. Please not going uh, to we, uh, But thank you. It's accepted. Thank you. We're ready for the next question, please. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Muslim Jafar Kaku. Can I first of all thank you on everybody's behalf for presenting such a different way to what Islam, satanic verses has, is actually saying. The second thing I wanted to say was, can you make sure or do some effort in, in helping us to give this book to each and every household in Britain as well as in America and Western countries? We will try, inshallah, but we need your support. Can you make sure in helping us? If you can, by video as well. Uh, we are publishing 100,000 in Britain for free distribution, and another 100,000 in America for free distribution. I would like to see a million copies here and a million copies there. But now, we, want, we are appealing, I'm appealing to you, that don't kill the goose that lays the golden egg. See, don't kill us. What you do is, how much does this book cost each? Roughly? 15 pence? Right. This costs 15 pence. Buy 10. Buy 100 at 15 pence each, so you don't kill us. And you give them out on your behalf. You know? This is what you ought to do. <laughs> so, that way you'll be helping us immensely. Because now, I am interested in publishing the 100,000 under, under print. But then I said, look, I want a million. Look, this book should be given out in the streets, in all the cities. Give them out freely. You know, you buy them at cost price. If you can publish them yourself cheaper, we are giving you an open order inside. We want no royalties from you. We have no copyrights. You publish it. You sell it. You distribute it free. No restrictions whatsoever. So if you want to do that, you can have that privilege as well. You can print it yourself. Maybe it'll cost you 10 pence. Yeah. Maybe it'll cost you 5 pence. Go ahead and do it. But help us that way. Spread the book. Inshallah, we'll help you. But if you can start a fund or something just to, pub to publicize this book and the videos, I'm sure you'll get a lot of response from people Inshallah. who want to donate to this cause. Inshallah. No, we don't want donation. You just buy it yourself. If you have got no time, buy 100 copies only. Okay. For how many? 15 pounds. Thanks very much. Or something, something like that. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. Assalamu alaikum, Mr. Didat. Yes, if we could have two more questions, yeah. please. And yours. Uh, well, let's say three questions, two more questioners after you. Uh, Mr. Didat, first of all, last year, uh, November, the Muslim some Muslim scholars, Muslim ulama, did uh, contact the British government in connection with this book. So, uh, like you did in South Africa, uh, some scholars and some ulama tried to do it here, but uh, they were unsuccessful through their democratic party. Secondly, uh, you say Salman Rushdie, how he fooled the West. Well, all Muslims that are here are in the West and they are part of the West. And as you have briefed us on how he has said abusive words to, to people, yeah, is, there's a lot of people here that are non-Muslims, and it is mainly on, you never use the word why they insulted Prophet Muhammad Wasallam. The abusive language that he used and the technique that he used, he did not use the word Muhammad. Can you explain to me why you never brought up that word Muhammad and this, I don't, maybe you can give it to me better, I don't know. My brother, as you see, I have discovered there is a wrong policy. Your policy, our policy now is wrong. He said, you know what he called my mother? You know what you're doing? You're spreading it now. Ah. Look, the thing has spread enough, it has you know, harmed us enough. Forty Muslims have died, women have been all widowed, children orphaned. And now I'm going to say, you know what he called my mother? You know what he called my Nabi? You know what? What the hell? I said, forget it, man. 
That's the thing of the past. We have paid enough price for that. Now we say, look, you, sir, what is doing to you? Forget about what happened to us. Because you crying about yourself is making the guy happy. But you must Why be a fool? You are a fool when you say, now talk about yourself because he's feeling happy. It's right. He did it to you. Forget that. That's the thing of the past. I know how I feel, how you feel. Because you must understand that there is non-Muslims also here. That's why they want to know why we... Don't waste Muslims time. Don't waste time. Go for the kill. Before we have the last two questions, I would like to take this opportunity, uh, of course, to, Sheikh, to thank Sheikh Ahmed Didad for all this time that, that he has given us. I'd also like to thank the organizers, Brother Shamshad Khan of the Interna uh, Islamic Propagation Center International, and members of his team who have worked so relentlessly, especially Brother Khadim Hussein, Brother Saeed, and Brother Majid Dodi, to make this event a success. Okay, if we could have the next questioner, please. Yes, if, if everyone after the last questioner can, can really go and sit down, because we just don't have any more time to, to answer your questions. Yes, this is the first one, and there is one person after him. And, uh, everybody, I'm sure. It, it's, 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 nice, it's so nice that you do have questions, but unfortunately we have to have some, some time to cut off the program. So there will be two more questions, this gentleman and one more, and the rest, if you could please sit down and perhaps we'll have, a, a, there will be other programs this week and your questions perhaps will be answered at those. Yes, sir. My name is Mohammed Salim Dadabai. I wanted to ask Amadi that is why the Saudi government and the rest of the Arab world did not support the Iranian in order to stop these Salman Rusty books. You think I know people's minds? I don't. This is the question you should ask them. Look, the question, the person who does or who doesn't, you ask him the question. Why? No, the problem, the problem is so that... Do you, do you have a question on the topic? Because we have not... We're no, discussing the topic is that by talking or merely but, understanding the West, because the West have conspired against the Islam in this unity. Might make a very and we interesting, as a Muslim are not united. This might make a very interesting... Uh, topic in the future, but unfortunately is not the topic here. Yes, could we please have the last questioner? Or a pair of questioners? My name is Farhana and this is my friend Shazi. I should like to ask you a question. Well, it's more advice than question. Oh, do, you have, do you have a question other than yeah. advice? Because yeah, there are people is. here that yeah, have questions. The question it is, you haven't heard it yet. I put two questions to my teachers in the school. It was one of freedom of speech, and I said, wasn't the last temptation of Christ banned in this country? Is it, is, am I wrong? Yes, you're wrong. It's not banned. What was it? It was banned. So why, why isn't this book and being also banned? democracy. Wasn't the last temptation of Christ banned in Pakistan? And also wasn't satanic verses banned in Pakistan? Isn't that respect to Christians and respect to Muslims? And that's all we demand, respect. But what is your question? My question is, why was I called into the head's office twice and the second time I was asked, if I carry on like this, fighting for Islam, what, I'll have to get chucked out? I mean, do I do, am I doing anything wrong? So, so yeah. why am I getting chucked out? If I do anything again, then I'm, ch I'm dead, aren't I? Yeah, and we want to know. I'm doing something wrong, then I'll stop. But isn't this for Islam? I would like to wish each and every one of you, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.